Hello Capricorn, it's a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. My beautiful friends, welcome to this table. It's so good to be back again. I know that I've taken several weeks. I have been going through um, somewhat of a learning process about how to further dig deeper into the tool of tarot. And um, I have um, been doing some reflection on my own work. And so there'll be a, a few changes that you might see here. Maybe not so much now, but as I move forward, um, I am applying some new methods to my work. So um, I'm ready to get going again. Before I get started, I want to remind you that this is a general reading. It is not a personal reading. Uh, and also that um, there are a lot of different people here that are coming. There are people here that are coming with um, Capricorn as sun signs, as Capricorn as moon signs, as rising signs, and even Capricorn as Venus signs, um, as well as some people here are coming here to watch this reading that um, maybe someone that they're um, interested in, they're watching the true reading for them. So please understand that because we're all made differently, because we have complicated natal charts, that... Um, I am not going to be going very um, specifically into time frames, although I'll be going into time frames. I, I feel it is not within my own um, um, it is not within my own power to clarify a time frame. So I'll be talking about it as in waves of energy uh, because we all move differently. Those of us who are Capricorn suns, if we have a, um, a I've been using Aries, I use it on Aquarius, but if we have an Aries moon, that means that we might move quicker through situations or more quickly through situations than if we are a Capricorn um, sun and we have a Virgo moon, we're going to be moving much more slowly and going much more strategically and methodically through a situation than someone who is a Capricorn sun with a Aries moon. Um, so we're all moving differently. That's way. That's why I have to be very honest and say that it is not within my own capacity to tell you exactly what time frames are, and you're all moving in different ways. But I am going to go into the the consciousness of this energy of this group of Capricorn people. Um, and so this reading might not really resonate with everyone. It may only fit with a few of you. But hopefully there's something here. All right, that's my introduction. Now as I move forward in 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 readings that come. Next week and the week after, I won't be doing such long opening statements because <laughs> I myself don't really like a whole lot of opening statement, um, but I felt like it was important for me to say this. Let's see now what is the general energy, the current energy for this group of Capricorn people. What is the current energy for this group of Capricorn people? Is the current energy current energy of this group of Capricorn people. What is the current energy of this group of Capricorn people? Sorry, I just need to get myself organized here so I don't distract myself. All right, what is the next incoming um, energy wave for this group? What is the next immediate future going to look like for this group of Capricorns? Realizing that this is a general reading. Not all of this will resonate with every single person. The next immediate forecast, the next immediate wave of energy. Something different happening where you can see, okay, now I'm in the next phase of this. I'm in the next stage here. Here's the next stage. What is the next stage? All 
right? And what is just a couple of energies of guidance? Just a couple of energies of guidance. All right. All right, before I begin Capricorn, I am um, just a quick reminder that um, there is an extended reading that will come after this and in that reading we'll look at the people who are around you and their perspectives and we'll take this situation out three more additional waves of energy so when you look at this reading there is a current wave of energy that we've looked at this uh, the next immediate future and then we're going to take it out um, three more phases out into the future um, and we'll look at the people around you this is a reading that is meant to help guide you. It is a tool um, for you to use if this is resonating for you, but I hope that you do not make major life decisions based off of a general reading. I would hope that you use it, and I encourage you to use it as a tool to help you think through um, your own situation. Um, um, and that is part of the realizations I've been having um, for me to have a pure heart about this work is for me to be very honest how I feel about tarot and how it is um, quite beneficial in our lives. But somehow, sometimes it can take, um, we can you we can um, take the words of others without really um, digging deep within ourselves. And I've even done that in my own life. So um, let me just begin now. <clears throat> So we're starting out here with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, this is the general energy of this group of people now. Um, so this general energy, um, you could be coming into this energy. You could have already passed this energy. Once you hear this and if you resonate with this, if this feels like it's a part of your story, then you will know like if this is a situation um, that will feel you will be interested in moving forward in this video on or not. That's why I like to do the current energy to help you. Um, um, with this. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here next to the Devil Energy, next to the Knight of Swords, next to the King of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. So um, we have the Devil en Energy next to the Seven of Pentacles. So the the Seven of Pentacles is, a, is an energy here of um, working on something, training for something, investing in something in your life. So you could have been, um, you could have started a new job. Um, you could have been putting money away for something. You could have been saving for a vacation. Um, whatever it is, this is a, this is a working and it's a waiting energy. Um, it's an energy of being active. Um, sometimes we can wait and, and we can sit around and wait. <clears throat> but with the Seven of Pentacles, this is an energy of being active, of working, and of knowing that this work will take you somewhere. That what you're doing is going to be an investment in your future. It will help your future. And you have hope that it will. You have a feeling that it will. You have an intuition that you will if you just give it time, if you let yourself flow with it, if you allow the universe to create what it will create, and if you then create what you will create, because this is a co-creation um, that, that we're working with here. It's a co-creation in life. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's an energy um, that you already know that for some reason or another, that this is something that's going to bring you abundance. It's going to bring you success. It's going to help you feel fulfillment in life. It's going to help build a legacy for yourself. Um, it's going to maybe be a part of your retirement account, or it's going to be in part of major improvements in your life. But there is just work to be done now. And there's learning um, that you're that you have been doing. Now, it's interesting that the learning energy comes first. So this could be the energy that you're in as you step into this phase. Then you move into the devil energy. Now, this is an energy, Capricorn, that you can be in quite a bit. Um, the devil energy is the energy of hard work. It's an energy of intensity. It's an energy of really putting your mind to something and putting all your focus into it and thinking about it constantly. Um, Capricorn people are hard workers. And you really, if there's anyone in this whole is um in the whole tribe of all the signs and the whole tribe of humanity that can push things forward and get things done it's capricornian the capricornian nature so um, with the devil energy this is an energy that is um a, an energy that is well respected um probably well respected among your peers and among the people that are around you the hard work and the tenacity the perseverance you have the ability to that you have to get things done the right way the carefulness that you have in life. Um, but we all understand that 
um, this energy, if it's if it's not in moderation, if you don't take care of yourself and if you don't find rest, it can really lead you into a place of needing then to um, really um, pull back the reins and, and maybe slow down a little bit so that you can see um, how far you've come and how much you've done. And you can see that sometimes resting and healing yourself is the best way for you to continue on then because the devil energy is, a, is, is something that is a lack of moderation, hard work, continuation of perservation. What am I saying? Continuing to persevere. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, continuing to persevere and having that tenacity sometimes can really run you ragged if you don't take time to have fun, um, to really pull back a little bit, to sleep well, to eat well. Um, this could be, um, there could be some fear in this, in this hard work that you've been doing, Capricorn, because we have the five of pentacles over the top of the devil and over the top of the knight of swords. So there could be fear of finances here, fear of losing family or losing friends fear of losing a job. Um, there is fear here with the Five of Pentacles, and the fear is ultimately a fear of instability, a, a fear of being alone. And it, that fear could have been driving this lack of moderation in your work and how you feel about the life around you and the world around you. Um, so you could be really struggling at this point in time, um, being being um, really pushed forward in this. The, what could be fueling this intensity within you is fear. Sometimes what, what we like to fuel something is passion. We like passion to fuel us, to fuel our work. We like to be excited about life, to feel um, impulses, the impulsivity of life, um, the spontaneous nature of life. That can fuel us. Sometimes we can also be fueled by anxiety and worry and fear. That can fuel us. And so sometimes when we're fueled by the wrong, the, an unhealthy fuel, which is worry and fear and a lack of balance in our lives, it can fuel us to work so hard that it can actually um, create a place in our lives where we can actually stop working or it can affect what we're trying to do. So the fact that you have the five of pentacles here, which is, um, which is a, a fear of consequences of taking action over the top of the devil energy means that um, you're probably realizing at this point that you're being, um, you're, you're doing something that's in the lack of moderation with the devil. And because you're, you're doing it because you're worried about something. And I think as you're moving through this, you're going to see the truth of whatever that is for you. Now, you may not resonate with this, with this reading. This reading is coming forward because spirit has brought it forward for a group of people that is it intended to be for. And that is why I'm here to bring messages forward. This is not easy for me. I've had to give up a lot to bring these messages forward. My family and my community does not believe in the gift of tarot. It does not believe in the gifts that I have. And I have come to grips with that. And I have learned how to stand in my own strength. And that's why I'm saying that if you're not resonating with this, that is okay this time. There will be a different message another time. Next week, you might have another message now. Um, for you, but this is meant for a certain group of people that are really struggling in this time. And, and I'm quiet now because this is a group of people that is probably having tears run down their face because I did also. And so I know how this feels. With the Knight of Swords, the, the Knight of Swords, this is an air energy. This is the truth now that you're finding and you'll find in the upcoming period of time the truth now in what it is that you're doing and how you're taking care of yourself and the value that you bring to the table, the priceless nature that you have, the gifts that you have that you're here for in this earth. What are those gifts? Because you are special. You are valued. Your guidance team is there. The higher power that has been over you, whatever you believe in is there for you that you can lean on it. And you can speak to it and talk to it and you can take care of yourself at this time because you will see the truth in this. And it's the truth that will set you free in whatever way. And it's the truth that will help you speak your words that you will need to say to yourself and to the people around you and to the situation that's around you because you have worked very hard. You have worked very hard and you have come a long ways. And with the devil energy, um, when I have been in the devil energy, 
Um, I, I have had been forced to realize because when you're in the devil energy, it's really hard to see it. It's really hard to see that you need rest or that you need care or that you are looking for nourishment in your life because you have been through something difficult and you have worked hard and you've been patient and you've had hope. So there's something here that's going to come forward to you that's going to bring you truth. With the Knight of Swords, there's going to be some new thought forms. There's going to be some ideas that are going to come forward and how um, you can really find moderation again, how you can find balance again in this, uh, because you have earned um, rewards in your life. And um, the fact that your heart hurts and that you have worry and that you have fear is because you're human. You're a human being and you have things in life that you're working towards and you're working towards them so hard and you mean well. And you're, and there is truth that now is going to come forward to you that will help you see what it is that's going to bring you to a place of clarity in this. And with this Knight of Swords, it's going to help you express yourself in a way that brings you to a place of liberation in your life, that helps you step forward in a new way, in a way that's much lighter and very victorious and sets you forward um, on your path again, um, resetting yourself. This is like a software update, a resetting of the energies within you. You have the King of Swords here, and this is um, the King of Swords is an energy of um, making decisions. It's an energy of seeing the larger truth in things, seeing the bigger picture. So I think as you step out of this um, intense energy that you've been in um, and you start to see the bigger picture, you're going to find new validation. You're going to find new confirmation of who you are as a person. And you'll be able to make decisions now that are overarching and that will help you in the long run. You know, it's, it's important to realize as we come out of this intense energy and this period of time where um, we could have really found ourselves um, in a deeper place than we ever thought we could go, you might be able to see now how you can start taking care of yourself in, in a loving way. And I'm not saying you weren't loving it yourself before, but I'm saying that there's something here with the Five of Pentacles and the Devil Energy um, that has been um, hurting you. You could have been very hurt in the past. You could have been through deep struggles in the past. And um, you could have been working very hard on something and maybe something from your past has cropped up into your into this current time period and it's affecting how you feel about this new opportunity that you're in or this new experience that you're in. So it might be even going back in time and looking at what you've experienced in the past and digging deep into it. And maybe there's some healing to be done from the past. And that is okay. That is how we live in our wisdom. That's how we find our truth. And that's how we really grow as people and grow in our own sense of self and find new inner strength and find the empowerment within us to live life in a beautiful, different way. And so I see as you move forward in this time period, you're going to begin to see the bigger picture of this. And this will help you make decisions in your life that will be that will bring long-term success, that will bring long-term stability in your life. Because when you don't have stability, Capricorn, when you don't have stability, um, that can be part of this intense energy. So there's something here where you have lacked stability. And as you see that, and as you work through that, and as you find this truth, you're going to be able to see the bigger picture um, of, of how to make decisions. And you're going to be able to see the bigger picture of who you are and how special you are and how vibrant you can be and how needed you are on this earth at this point in time, how needed you are how needed you are. So um, I, I just, my heart goes out to you. I wrap my arms around this energy and send it out to you and hope that it can heal you and it can give you some energy and it can extend to you some compassion here because I have been in this place before in my life and um, I understand how it feels. And you will find victory. You will see a new day. 
you will see a new dawn. And that is what's going to begin to happen in this time period for you. All right, let's move into the next immediate future here. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the tower energy. Now the tower energy doesn't always, isn't always bad. It can be very exciting energy. It does bring change. So let's see, get, please give us more inter information about the tower. More information about the tower. So in the next immediate incoming future, the next phase, when you say, okay, now I'm in the next phase, this is what it will feel like, um, knowing this is a general reading. So I'm looking into the energies from the cosmos. So we're looking at a whole bunch of different people here. So not everything will resonate. And please do not make major life decisions based on this information, but use it um, to as part of your um, tool belt system, as part of your guidance system. Um, but it is not something that is the only guidance. Um, there is guidance from within that is much more important and much more accurate um, than this reading. And hopefully this reading will help you access that information that's within yourself. We have the Knight of Wands energy. This is an energy of passion and it's an energy of movement. Um, this is your energy that I feel here. Um, in the extended reading, we'll go into the energy of the people around you. I am focusing this reading on your own energy. Um, because ultimately, in life, we're all the most important to ourselves. Um, no one else can heal us. No one else um, can um, pay our bills unless you're in a relationship with someone, and then that can happen. Um, but we ultimately are born as one, and we will die as one. And so this is an energy um, that is meant for you. Um, the Knight of Wands energy is an energy of passion and forward movement. It's an energy of enthusiasm. It's an energy of inner strength. Um, it's as we light the fire that's within us, the passion center that within us, as we become more excited about life, we feel that, sponta that spontaneity again, that exuberance for what we're doing. We can move forward then into new frontiers. Um, we can... Um, maybe if we've gone through something harsh in our lives, it looks like there has been something harsh here that's been gone through. Um, I like that the Knave of Wands is over the top of the Two of Swords. That tells me that there's new inspiration now. That tells me that this tower is most likely something that you are recovering from in your life, whether it was 10 years ago or two years ago or a month ago. Um, there's something now that you're able to do. Um, just like me, I have gone through uh, an awakening, if you will, about the tool of tarot and how I want to speak it and how I would like to channel the messages. And now I am back at this table again. I am back at this table again, feeling good about my work, not being afraid to sit down um, at this table. Because to be a reader, um, I know that there is a great responsibility in the messages that I bring forward. And I take it very strongly upon my shoulders to be very ethical in my work. And I feel very um, peaceful now in the way I'm bringing messages forward um, as I can dig down into these messages. So I'm feeling the Knight of Wands right now as I sat down at this table. And this is a feeling now of, of a lack of fear, feeling um, like you can now finally move forward in a way that feels good. 
Um, with the Knight of Wands is an energy that can set you forward into new frontiers. It can help you open doors. It can help you walk back outside again after a disaster. It can, if you're on a horse and you fall off the horse, it can help you get back up on the horse again. Um, knowing that sometimes after we've been knocked down um, from something that it takes a lot of strength to get back up and start over again and step back into that. That's what the Knight of Wands energy can be. Now it's a fast energy. It's a quick energy. It may not last a long time. So you're going to need to continue to take care of yourself to understand what this is. Um, it's a burst of energy. So you're um, moving now as you move into the next immediate time frame. You're moving forward with this passionate, excited burst of energy. You might have exciting things to say to others, like, I'm back. I'm so excited. I feel great again with the, with the Knight of Wands. Okay, there, this could be another person as well in your life. Um, but I am going to stick to your energy now. Um, knowing that there's a Knight of Wands here, and for, you, for those of you who really understand tarot, you can really take this information and apply it in your own way. Um, but I feel like this is your own energy now. Seven of Swords is an energy here that's over the top of the Knave of Pentacles and over the top of the Knight of Wands. So the Seven of Swords is an energy here of revision. It's an energy of making changes after you have been through something that had been traumatic for yourself. Um, it could have been betrayal, could have been lies that have been spoken to you, or um, people who have treated you badly, or maybe people that have come out and surprised you in a way that you weren't expecting. And that surprise was something that really hurt you. And maybe you didn't understand how other people felt. And when they came forward and said what they felt, um, it could have really um, took you by surprise and, and it could have felt like a betrayal. Um, whatever it was, the Seven of Swords is an energy of betrayal. I mean, it is over the top of the Knight of Wands and over the top of the Knave of Pentacles. So I think that there has been a taste of betrayal in this experience and that you've really had to revise something that you're doing. Maybe even at work, you, you've been working on something and you've been very dedicated and you've been very pas uh, passionate about your work and you've thought that you did a great job. And then all of a sudden, um, a, a supervisor came to you and said, you know, I really don't like this. I really, um, or maybe not like that. I don't think I ever have heard a supervisor saying that, but you could have had a supervisor come and tell you, you know, I really would like to see three columns on this chart instead of two. I really would like you to put in additional information. I have really needed this information. And I think now I finally figured out what I need. So please add this additional information to this paper. And I think that it will help us really move forward in a much more abundant way. And you might take that information as, oh my goodness, all this time I have been doing this work and my supervisor hasn't really liked it and now I have to change it and there could be some hurt feelings there could be feelings that maybe you are um, not worthy of a position or something um, the, the seven of swords is, is an energy of really feeling hurt by something but then changing something that you're doing to recover from it and understanding that sometimes things are just a, a process. They're just something that has to happen. And once you overcome that hurt and you can see the value in it, then you can move forward in a new way. And I think sometimes the seven of swords can, ev can even release you from something um, that's happening around you that you might not even know that it's happening. Um, even if, so if you're in a relationship and someone's cheating on you, something, someone's betraying you and you don't know, and you find out that is betrayal. That is a stab to the heart, but at least now you know, at least now the truth is there, and then you can revise something in your life. That is the pain, and that is a liberation of the Seven of Swords. So you do have a Seven of Swords here over the top of the Knight of Wands and over the top of the Knave of Pentacles. So I think because of something that happened to you that caused a deep hurt, you have changed something. You have created a change in your process, and this itself has led you to a, a much more free place and has brought you to a place um, of, of, of enthusiasm again and interest in what your life is and what you're doing, and you're moving forward in that way. With the Page of Pentacles here, we see um, an, incl an inclination that there's going to be improvement here. Maybe there really hasn't been a whole lot happening recently, but you've seen with your work or with the way that you've been changing your life or with the new way that you've been moving ahead, that this movement, this excitement that you have for life, you have much more um, satisfaction in it. You have a peacefulness in it. Um, you have a, 
And, and you can also see that it is going to bring you um, the stability that you like. Because if you're not sure about what you're doing, if you're in a situation that is not right for you, that is not being true to you, it is really hard to be to live in stability. It, it could be a fake stability. And you do have the tower here, which talks about something coming crashing down and the anxiety that happened to you. So I do feel like as you move forward, you're going to have this excitement, this exuberance, and you're going to have this um, peacefulness in the way that you move forward. Um, you're going to see inclinations of improvement start to happen here for the for the Capricorn people. I see the, the Page of Cups here, the Knave of Chalices is in the center. And for me, many times and, and almost always in this reading, the Page of Cups is an energy that is overall, over all of these energies. So this is an energy of being guided by the internal self. Look, he has a dowsing rod here. Um, as someone put in the comments one section, by the way, I've turned the, uh, let me say this, I forgot to say this earlier. I have turned the comments off um, because I, um, as we know, words that are written or spoken or placed somewhere have energy to them. And um, the channel is growing. And I was um, there. There's a lot of energy that can go in those comments. And those comments are so beautiful. And they've been so important to me to get those comments. But they have been happening. And I've been feeling so much pressure about them because I'm not really able to respond to every one of them. And um, I feel like I have to watch them because now and again, there's a comment that I feel is not helpful for the group of us to see. And so I have had to monitor that. And when I've monitored that, um, or even if Julie is monitoring that, we are then accessing and touching so many different energies. So for now, while I've been going through this awakening, I've turned those comments off. But for those of you that like to comment um, beautiful comments to me, please go read the um, information section underneath the video. I have a special message for you with a request. So you could go read that if you'd like to comment. I wish from my heart that you do that. Um, to read that message from me. All right, so we have the na the Page of Cups here, the overall energy. The Page of Cups is new inspiration. It's new guidance from within. It's new love for life, new love for a person or for a community or for oneself. Um, this energy um, really does reflect internal guidance and doing what feels right for you. And then once you do something that feels right for you from the heart center, because it's a cup energy, it's from the emotional center within us, when we speak what feels right to us, when we take action with what feels right to our heart, we begin to see the world around us slowly begin to change. And I, I do feel that energy is over the top here. So this is an energy of new inspiration, new love, new revitalization um, in emotional strength. And this is over the top of the page of pentacles. So I do see new improvements budding as you move forward into the future, new hope there, new indications of success and new emotional revitalization realization, new love, a softening of the soul, a softening of the heart, a healing energy that's coming in. We have the nine of swords here um, under the top of the page of cups and under, under the page of cups and under the tower. So um, I think you've been worried about if you're ever going to feel this way again or worried about the community around you or maybe there's somebody here that you, you're you wanting to apologize to or you're waiting for apologi from an apology from someone. Whatever it is, um, love is forming. It's like new, fresh, spring-like feel that's forming around you here. And this is because you're starting to move from your own intuition from your own inner guidance, not from your thoughts, not from the mind, from how you feel in the heart center. And when you do this, it's, it's good to sink your energy down into the breast, into the chest of who you are. And really, uh, maybe with your thoughts, say, okay, heart, what do you feel like? You know, just even if it feels silly, do it when you're alone and really start to kind of see what the heart center feels like. It feels if it feels damaged or if it feels empty, what does it want to do as it moves forward? See if you can get some information from the heart center, Capricorn, because this is a recovery of some kind of, of internal pain. And it is a budding now of new love and inspiration in the world outside of you. Now, this this anxiety and this worry is is because of something here that's come that has come crashing down. And I think whatever this is that has come crashing down around you is because some truth has come forward to you. Whether someone has spoken something to you or whether there has been a situation that has been disclosed to you where the truth is no longer hidden, the truth is here. 
And the truth can sometimes be painful to see, but the truth will all you also set you free. It is painful sometimes, but it will set you free. And that's what we have here. Look how you've been set free from this cage. You might have been inside a cage before, and now you have been set free. And now as soon as you've gained your strength, as soon as you have healed yourself, you can step down out of this um, cage that you were in um, or this um enclosure that you were in that you really couldn't find your way out of you can step down into something free again and and feel empowered in your life where there's not bars and prisons that are wrapped around you where you can move freely freely ahead in your own beautiful way capricorn um with the page of wands now we have three pages here so this is talking about revitalization this is talking about gathering your strength getting back up on your feet again and saying this is my truth this is me this is how i'm moving forward so again this is this is this is getting back on your feet getting back on the horse getting back on the bicycle getting back in the race car depends on how fast you go getting back in the driver's seat of your life um, after something major here has happened for you the queen of wands is here and the queen of wands is is you again um capricorn this is an energy of finding your value again re, re, really reminding yourself of who you are right this is being a person of 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 inner strength and then moving forward in a way that creates um, new passion and new excitement in your life. So the queen of wands is here and the queen of wands is an energy of internal beauty, um, internal passion, internal um, excitement. This is building that flame up within you, building that empowerment within you where all of a sudden you're saying, you know what? I can look at myself in the mirror again. I can look at myself. I can put on these clothes that I've been wanting to wear. I can step out the front door. I can say the things I need to say because I have value. I have been through the gamut and I have wisdom and I have things I want to say and I have journeys that I want to go on. And I know maybe I'm not at that place where I'm on the exact journey that I want to be on, but I know that I have the strength to get myself there. And, and I know of my own um, of my own guidance system. I know of what brings me strength and I know that I can set forth because I, I have done it before. I have used my strength before and I have been in this kind of energy before. And because I have it within me and because each and every one of it, one of us has passion, excitement, enthusiasm, every one, each and every one of us has confidence that we can build within ourselves that you know that you can step forward in this way. And it's a beautiful way to end the second phase of energy as you move through it. With the Queen of Wands, you're feeling good again. You've rested. You've eaten the right food for yourself. You have you have found healing for yourself. You have recovered from this. So this could have happened some time ago, Capricorn. You have recovered from this and you're moving forward now in a new beautiful way as a Queen of Wands. And you have something to do, Capricorn. You have something to do and you're confident of it. And you're very passionate about this new um, way you're going forward because you have the Knight of Wands with the Queen of Wands here. So um, you, you feel this fueling up inside of you and you're taking action in that way as well. So um, Capricorn, um, let's look at the guidance that's coming forward. It's only two energies. Let's see what's here. I don't even know what's here. Um, let's see what's here for you. Oh my gosh, Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. See what I mean? This is what I mean. So the Page of Swords is an energy of um, of watching what's going on around you, um, watching it. See, it's a sword though. So sometimes we have to think about this, these energies that are here. The Page is a message. It's it's a new energy. It's a rebuilding energy. Um, it's It could be a very youthful energy. It could be a young person, right? There could be a young person here in your life or young people in your life that could be affected by this situation. I um, mean, the swords is, is um, energies of belief systems. It's thought forms. It's the way we say things. It's the way we express ourselves. Um, the page of swords is, is if you talk about a student or a young person or somebody that's going in, um, I'm going into a new situation and they could be feeling vulnerable. Um, it's also um, somebody who is watching something, watching someone else. 
Um, there could be a young person around you who's watching you, who's observing you. There could be someone else that, that you're working, that is working to take, that is working to take care of a situation or you're working to take care of this person. Um, but again, the, this is an energy that can be an awkward, vulnerable energy. Um, so you could be dealing with something here um, because it's next to the Ten of Pentacles. You could be dealing with something here with a child or a youthful type energy, a student energy, um, an energy of um, learning, an energy. There might even be um, an ener energy of c cynicism or you're not really believing what's happening or you're not. Maybe you can't even believe it. Maybe it's so unbelievable to you. But it is definitely about belief systems. It's about um, questioning your belief systems, questioning what's going on around you um, with the Page of Swords. So uh, the the guidance here is to um, be careful to to not um, over create something. Um, be careful to not let your imagination go too far um, one way or the other. To stay grounded to stay um, peaceful about this situation, to allow yourself to move forward, to be flexible in this situation, um, because you could be feeling quite awkward and vulnerable, and there could be people around you that are, um, they might not be saying anything, but you might know that you have a responsibility, and this could be adding pressure to you. So with the Ten of Pentacles here, this talks about um, creating a long-term successful future for yourself long-term stability. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is a feeling of safety and security, and it is a very much a Capricornian energy. It's when Capricorn people feel the most happy in their lives. For Capricorn people, the Ten of Pentacles is often the Ten of Cups. For Capricorn people, would you like to see the Ten of Pentacles here as guidance, or would you like to see the Ten of Cups? For many Capricorn people, you would like to see the Ten of Cups because you know that stability and a strong foundation and money in the bank and a good job and a strong business brings you happiness, right? So the Ten of Pentacles is here and the guidance is that with your abilities and with your tenacity and with your healing and with your understanding about your own life and the situation around you and making the changes that are necessary to bring in um, new vitality and new enthusiasm and new inner strength and recovery that you will attain in your own special way what the Ten of Pentacles means for you. And the question is, what does it mean for you? Is it being rich? Or is it being comfortable? Is it feeling secure in your home? Is it creating a legacy for yourself? Is it helping to provide funding for your child's schooling? It, it can be so many different things. But ultimately, the Ten of Pentacles can also be a feeling. It's a feeling of stability. It's a feeling of being, be, being able to relax with your finances and with the resources around you so that you are not consistently worried and anxious about how you're going to do this or how you're going to do that because you know that you have the resources at your fingertips or in your disposal um, that you can really put to work for yourself. So um, this is a good hopeful guidance and it is a reality um, once you set forward in this way. This is the way that you reach the Ten of Pentacles. So my beautiful friends, um, I am going to move to the extended now. In the extended, we are going to move this situation out three more waves of energy, um, three more periods of time. And then we're going to look at the people around you to see what their perspectives are. So that's what's going to happen in the extended. Um, now, thank you very much, Capricorn. It's always a pleasure to read for you. Um, I um, extend out my confidence in you and my compassion for your situation. And I... Um, wish for you to um, find um, a sense of stability um, a as um, your your spiritual team brings it to you as best as they can and as best as you can reach it and find it for yourself. My beautiful friends, thank you all very much. It is a pleasure and it is a um, honor to be in your energy. Thank you. <music>